not on the heels of John's report from the Dubai tour, I'm going to do exactly the same thing here in Abu Dhabi. New custom and slightly modified tech. The biggest news by a long way is that Cannondale have got a brand new bike here. Uh, it's an aero model with disc brakes, but that's about as much detail as we've got so far. Uh, we in fact haven't been allowed to video or take photos of it. Nevertheless, Dan McClay is racing it live on television, so we got a few secret shots as he was going up to the podium earlier today. Now, as pointed out to me by Magnus Ankersterner on Twitter, uh, Cannondale last year got approved by the UCI a new bike called the System 6, so that could well be the model name. Hopefully, though, we will get more details very shortly. Also at this race is the World Time Trial Champion Tom Dumoulin. Uh, just behind me there and as there's a time trial here he has brought his new custom bike with the rainbow colours which looks very nice indeed. Stay tuned for a full video on that bike coming very soon to GCN Tech. How cool does this thing look? Uh, this is the custom Scott foil of Luca Mezgec and they've given him this very special custom paint job because he holds the triple crown in Slovenia. So he, as you can see here, is the road champion, the mountain bike champion and the cyclocross national champion all held at the same time. And I particularly like actually the synchros handlebars here at the front with his name on them. Speaking of which, it's not just Luca who has the customization from that regard. Over here, we've got the same aero bars for Caleb Ewan. Again, looking very sleek in that luminous yellow design. Interestingly though, they didn't decide to put any kind of spongy soft material at the front for him to rest his chin on. Now I know that John's already shown you Alexander Christoph's custom European Champions Colnago Concept Aero Bike, but this is the first time we've got up close and personal with the brand new Colnago C64. Uh, this had the number one on it as winner last year is Rui Costa's bikes, and there's been a few updates from the C60, which is its predecessor. Uh, it still has all the familiar lugs, but as you can see just here, uh, the lugs on the seat kind of cluster are all integrated into this one seat tube, which makes it look quite neat. And I know there are a lot of fans of Conargo's and Italian brands out there, so you're probably going to love this because it's also got a full Campagnolo Super Record EPS group set on it and the Campagnolo wheels. Team Dimension Data's head mechanic, Kenny, has given us a sneak peek at a new custom saddle for Mark Cavendish. Uh, they've changed saddles this year to the Astute brand, which is a new Italian brand of saddles. Cav is using the Skylight SR uh, model, but underneath here, since he is a brand ambassador over here at the Abu Dhabi Tour, he's got a special custom made one, and they're busy fitting it to his bike right now. to have updated their aero road bike which is called the One and a lot of the technology from their slick time trial bike has trickled down to this. Uh, it's now got that twin vein down tube which improves aerodynamics and also apparently stiffness. Uh, it's got a unique design here at the front, kind of an unhinged steerer tube and their own proprietary aero bars and stem as well. Uh, it's designed only to be used with electronic group sets interestingly. This is the rim brake model but there is also a disc brake model out there as well. And to my mind it actually resembles quite closely the Factor Visvires, however you pronounce that, which is a bike I used on GCN about five years ago. Nothing particularly custom or modified about the climbing shifters here on Simon Yates Scott here at Mitchelton Scott, apart from the fact that it is facing forwards rather than backwards. Nothing wrong with that, I guess. He prefers to change on the climbing shifters with his fingers rather than his thumbs. He's also got the satellite shifters down here as well, so he's obviously a man who likes to be able to change gear in every position. Brand new, never seen before at the Abu Dhabi Tour, are these cameras from Velon. Uh, we have seen on board and live cameras before from them, but this is the first time they've ever used a 360 degree camera. A couple of you asked underneath our power meters video how Marcel Kittel got his Wahoo Element bolt onto his air road uh, mounts. And the answer are these blue shims here, which you can see on all of the Katusha bikes. Uh, you just slot one of those in instead of the Garmin one, and away you go with your Wahoo. Who bolts. Uh, nothing too custom on these time trial bikes here at Katusha, the Canyon Speedmax uh, CF SLXs, but it does seem that Ilna Zakarin likes his own chain rings. Most of them are standard SRAM, whilst this is an unmarked 56 tooth chain ring. 
It can be quite hard sometimes to find a nice, neat solution for a head unit mount on aerodynamic bars, but I do particularly like these ones on Bahrain Merida's aero bikes. Uh, this is Mate Mahoric's bike just next to me here, and as you can see, uh, a very neat metal solution which bolts on uh, underneath the bars there. Interestingly, on the top of the bars there, he's also got some of that skateboard-style grip tape. Now, we often see that on time trial bikes, but it's the first time I've ever seen it on a road bike. So I'm going to find out from him what that's about. Uh, when you hold your handlebars like on your TT bike, in case you hit a bump or something, it helps your, slend your hands not to slip off the handlebars. And are you a rider that ever puts the elbows down on the, on the bars on a road bike or not? Yeah, I do it occasionally. Usually when I'm on my own, uh, especially in the training, but uh, sometimes also in the races, but never in the middle of the vans because I think that's uh, quite dangerous. Here's a really cool piece of custom tech for you, something that can very well feature on hack forward slash bodge on the GCN show. Many of you at home will know that it's quite hard often to get a head unit mount onto aero bars like these from Specialized. So the mechanics here for the new Wahoo Element bolts that are sponsoring them this year have engineered, stroke hacked, a K-Edge mount. And I think they have done a rather neat job with that. And for me, it's things like this that make pro bikes really special indeed. Pioneer, who supply the power meters and head units to Lotto NL Yumbo, have designed their own solution for their head units on those same Vision Metron bars, which you can see here. Uh, you can't buy these in the shops, they're custom made for the team. This is something that I personally haven't seen before. I'm sure there'll be loads of comments saying that I'm really behind the times. Uh, but it is a junction box mount, which is a headset spacer as well. It's from Fourier. Uh, that is so that you don't need to have those rubber bands that go all the way around the stem. And it's kind of a solution, really here for Team Sunweb because they have those Sigma head units which are also mounted onto the stem. There is the old style solution which is just wrapping it over the middle of the stem uh, but there are quite a few different pieces about for the junction boxes so for example here at Quick Step on the Specialized Venges they're using Specialized own mounts for the Garmin at the front which has the junction box situated just underneath. Other bikes have the junction box completely hidden away, like this one from BMC. Uh, it's at the top of the down tube here. And then you've got things like the Canyon Air Road, where the junction box is located inside the Air Road bars. And then as John pointed out at the Dubai Tour, one of the new neat solutions is to have it as a bar end plug. One thing I have noticed over the last few years is that we are seeing fewer and fewer riders using non-sponsored parts that are taped over to cover it. And I think there's two reasons for that. It is partly, of course, sponsor pressure. They don't really like it. Uh, but I think it's mainly the fact that the equipment that the riders have given these days is generally really top-notch and they've got absolutely no need to change it. Really interesting though to see that new Cannondale on display here. We'll hopefully get details on that to you very soon. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, you can give us a thumbs up just down below. Uh, if you'd like to see John Canning's tech roundup from the Dubai Tour, you can find that in the corner here. And don't forget to subscribe to GCN Tech if you really like your cycling tech.